got your text, Rainbow Dash. Did something come through the portal? Is Equestrian Magic on the loose? Did Twilight come back with a problem that only we can solve? Has a giant cake monster covered all the cakes in the world in cake? Um, not exactly. Uh, I don't understand. Well, Sunset, I was just telling Rainbow Dash here that a broken guitar string doesn't really qualify as an emergency. It totally does. Really, Rainbow Dash? I was in the middle of sewing a very complex applique on my latest frock. And I was just about to tuck everyone in for the night at the shelter. Now we'll have to start stories all over again. Why would you send all of us an emergency text for a guitar string? Well, I was going to pony up and show our fans some awesome guitar licks. But I kind of need all six strings to do it. Got any extra? Oh. <sighs> Here, but everyone finished practicing for the day. I'm pretty sure all the music rooms are locked. No problem. The acoustics in the hallway are perfect for power chords. Come on, let's go. You coming, Sunset? I'll catch up in a bit. Dear Princess Twilight, how's life treating you in Equestria? Any cool new magic spells? It's been pretty quiet here at CHS since the Battle of the Bands. We still pony up when we play music, which Rainbow Dash just loves to show off. But I still can't quite grasp what it's all about. I would love to hear what you think about it when you get a sack. Your friend, Sunset Shimmer.
She was definitely doing something to the statue, or was going to. Do you think she came through the portal from Equestria? No, I'm pretty sure I would have noticed that. I think she was from over here. Well, that's a relief. The last thing we need is another magical so-and-so bent on world domination coming over from Equestria. Agreed. I have no interest in another fight against the powers of evil magic. The wear and tear on my wardrobe is just too much to keep up with. Still, a mysterious figure snooping around the portal? Don't you want to know what she was up to? <laughs> I don't even want to guess. Well, you don't have to, because I've totally figured out who it was. Ooh, ooh! A nighttime statue cleaner? A magical portal maintenance maintainer? A gardener? Seeing as how they got off a bus from the city and got back on a bus headed to the city, I'll bet they go to... Crystal Prep. Yep. With the friendship game starting tomorrow, they'd totally try to prank us by defacing the Wonder Colt statue. Why would anyone take a bus all the way from the city for that? Because the Crystal Prep Shadow Bolts are our biggest rivals. Because that's just what the students at Crystal Prep would do. Because even though they beat us in everything, soccer, tennis, golf, they still have to gloat. Seems kind of silly to me. Silly? So, I guess you think the friendship games are silly, too. Well, it's not like we'll be fighting the powers of evil magic. No, we'll be fighting against a school full of meanies. Not everything has to be magical to be important. You're right. I'm sorry. I know it's a big deal. Oh, that's putting it mildly, darling. They're still revamping the playing field in preparation. I just don't understand why there's this big rivalry. Aren't the friendship games supposed to be about our two schools getting along? Well, it's kind of hard to get along with someone who beats you at everything. Not anymore! This time, things are gonna be different. What do you mean? Oh, you'll find out. As I am sure you all know, tomorrow Canterlot High School will be hosting our fellow students from Crystal Prep Academy as we join together in the spirit of excellence, sportsmanship, and fidelity to compete in the Friendship Games. Since the games only happen every four years, I'm sure you're all curious what goes on. You mean other than us losing? And that is exactly why I've asked Rainbow Dash to come up and give you all a little, um, context. Thank you, Principal Celestia. <clears throat> I know a lot of you might think there's no way we can beat a fancy school like Crystal Prep at anything. And I know that CHS has never won the Friendship Games even once. Oh dear, I hope this speech isn't meant to be motivational. Crystal Prep students are super athletic, super smart, and super motivated. But there's one thing they aren't. They aren't Wonder Colts. We fought magic more than once and come out on top. Oh. There's other schools, but none can make those claims. Na, 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 na. Together we are Canterlot. Come and cheer our name. Oh. This will be our year to win these games. We'll always be Wonder Colts forever. And now our time has finally arrived. Cause we believe in the magic of friendship. And you know, at the end of the day, Before. Oh. Yeah, we're different now. Oh. And we overcame the obstacles we faced. Overcame the obstacles we faced. We're Canterlot United. United. We'll never bow. Oh. So get ready to see us in first place. We'll always be.
Rainbow Dash. That was amazing. Even I feel like we can win. I feel like my school pride is at an all-time high. Is anybody else wondering how Dash ponied up without playing her guitar? I know, right? It's probably because I'm so awesome. Maybe. I mean, you are awesome, but there's got to be more to it than that, right? It just seems so random. Well, it would be nice if you girls could get a handle on it. We'd like to keep magic as far away from the friendship games as possible. We don't want to be accused of cheating. We don't need magic to defeat those hoity-toity crystal preppers. Oh, give it oh, yeah. <laughs> Still, the friendship games are serious business. We don't want any surprises, especially the kind that could cause us to forfeit. Sunset Shimmer, you came here from a world of magic. Perhaps you can get to the bottom of our magical development. I'll do my best. Okay, anybody have any guesses what the events are gonna be? Pie eating? Cake eating? <gasps> Pie cake eating! They won't even let us see what they're doing to the field. You'd think they'd at least tell competitors what they're competing in. It could be anything. Anything? How will I ever pick the right outfit? I really want to help, but I think I better go focus on figuring out why Rainbow Dash ponied up. See you later. Seems like she's got everything under control. Nothing to worry about. Hey, Twilight. Haven't heard back from you yet. I guess you must be pretty busy with your role as princess. But I could really use your advice right now. You see, I've been given the job of keeping magic under control here at CHS, even though I still haven't quite wrapped my head around it. And now, after seeing Rainbow Dash pony up the way she did, it makes me think our magic might be changing. Everyone is looking to me to figure things out, and I really don't want to let them down. But I'm not sure I have enough experience with friendship magic to solve this. Field test confirmed it, Spike. With this device, I can track and contain the bizarre energy coming from Canterlot High. I know you didn't like me going over there, but I just couldn't wait. And soon, I'll have all the time I need. All of Crystal Prep is gonna be there for the Friendship Games. I just hope all that rivalry nonsense doesn't get in the way of my research. If I can collect enough data on these EM frequencies, I should be able to extrapolate the waveforms to determine their origin. That would practically guarantee my entrance into the Everton Independent Study Program. Whoa! Twilight, you know the rules against pets. Well, Spike isn't a pet, Dean Cadence. He is the focus of my research project. Human canine cohabitation, effects and implications. If you say so, but Principal Cinch is highly allergic, so I suggest you put on a clean shirt. Why? Because she wants to see you. Ooh, maybe she has news about my application to Everton. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Are you sure that's what you really want? Why wouldn't it be? A program that allows me to focus all my attention on my own advanced math and science projects? What a dream come true! But there aren't any classrooms with other students. You'll be doing everything on your own. That is why it's called an independent study program. I just don't want you to miss out on anything, that's all. Being around other people isn't a bad thing. Sometimes it's how you learn the most about yourself. I guess. Meet you in Principal Cinch's office in a few minutes? What's she so worried about? Everton is exactly what I need right now. <sighs> it's not like I have anything left to learn at Crystal Prep. Of 
Shining armor? Why is my brother here? As an alumni, Principal Cinch thought he could provide some unique perspective. Perspective on what? Why, the friendship games, of course. You competed in the games, did you not, Shining Armor? <clears throat> I did. And do you happen to recall who won? <laughs> Crystal Prep did. We always win. We always win. Why did you ask to see me? Twilight. I'll be honest. It doesn't matter whether or not Crystal Prep wins or loses. The important thing is that we are expected to win because Crystal Prep has a reputation. And it is that reputation, my reputation, that is responsible for everything we have here. For everything you've done here. And you've done quite a lot, haven't you? I don't know. I guess. Oh, don't be modest. You're the best student this school has ever seen. What I can't understand is why my best student wouldn't want to compete. In the friendship games? Look, Twily, I know it's not really your thing, but representing the school is kind of a big deal. Plus, they could really use your help. It seems Cantalot High is undergoing something of a renaissance. Test scores are up, grades, even athletics are on the rise. You see, they are developing somewhat of a reputation. This cannot happen. Principal Cinch, I can't possibly participate in the games. My work here is very- Ah, yes. Your work. Cadence, could you and Shining Armor find my contact sheet for the Everton Independent Study Program? Of course. I understand you've applied. You see, one of the advantages of having a reputation is a certain amount of influence in such things. So, let me offer you a deal. 
In return for contributing your agile mind to these games, I will use my influence to guarantee your application is approved. Though I suppose I could also have it denied. What do you think I should do? games. <laughs> the only difference now is that I have to compete. Besides, it's not like Principal Cinch gave me much of a choice. I know, Spike. I don't like it either. I probably won't be able to collect anywhere near as much data as I thought. But maybe I can still get some. <laughs> Spike, I wouldn't leave without you. Just remember to be quiet and try not to shed. Cadence, I'm not really sure where to go. One second, Twilight. You could try the end of the line. What did you say? Just that someone as smart as you should definitely go first. I... I didn't mean to. I was just asking. This is the right bus, Twilight. Go ahead. But I didn't mean to cut in front. Well, it's too late now. I... I don't know. Wrong answer! Try again! Are we gonna win? Um, I guess? It's just... I mean, I heard that CHS is doing well now, with their reputation. And, I mean, it's not better than ours, of course. But we can't let them do it, you know? Win, I mean, right? You're gonna have to take a seat! Sugar coat? That was a really bad speech. You should consider not speaking in public. Well, Spike, at least I've got you with me. Games have a music competition because we would totally rock it. Um, we're supposed to keep magic out of the friendship games, remember? Easier said than done, darling. I'm sure in Equestria magic does whatever you want, but this isn't Equestria. Well, when it comes to magic, I'm sure you'll figure it out. And while Sunset works on keeping the magic out of the games, I have been working on what to put in. <laughs> Rarity. What did you go and do? Well, I had a little time on my hands, and since we don't know what the Friendship Games events are, I made a few options for uniforms. You really didn't have to do that. I know. No, you really didn't have to. I know! <laughs> Vice Principal Luna can help your students get settled if you'd like me to show you around, Principal Cinch. There have been quite a few changes since your last visit. Oh, yes, Principal Celestia. I'm sure that would be fascinating. Oh, it's always such a pleasure to see you, Dean Cadence, even if it means another defeat. Thank you, Vice Principal Luna. But I hear it's not going to be so easy this time. Coming through! <laughs> Seriously? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, sorry. Why don't you go ahead? You are such a sweetie! I am watching you. Ah! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> you are kind of being a doormat right now. Twilight. Hey, Twilight! 
Hi, Twilight. Hi, Twilight. Hi, you. Looking good. Um, hi. Hey, what's happening? Really nice to see you. Twilight, how you doing? Twilight, yo. Hi. Hello. Uh, good. <laughs> Twilight? I almost didn't recognize you. When did you start wearing glasses? Um, like, since forever. <laughs> oh, so how long are you here for? Just for the friendship games. Right, of course. We'll totally win with you here. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, okay. Bye. Oh. Uh, Rarity, these outfits are great, but why would you put so much time and effort into clothes we might not even wear? You're gonna exhaust yourself before the games even start. Oh, don't be silly, darling. Putting effort into clothes is what I live for, and spending time on my friends fills me with energy! Magic too, I guess. Actually, Applejack, now that you mention it, I suppose I could use a tiny break. I told you. Twilight? Uh, yes? Well, I'll be. You should have told us you were coming. Darling, those glasses. <laughs> what are you wearing? It's so severe. My uniform? Your uniform for what? For crystal prep. But why does everyone at the school know who I am? Did you just say crystal prep? <laughs> Spike! <gasps> you know my dog's name, too? And our music program has especially taken off. Twilight? This is getting ridiculous. I must apologize for the curiosity of my prize student. Your student? The smart ones are always curious. I'll return her to check in with the rest of her classmates. I didn't know Twilight had a twin sister. She doesn't! That Twilight is obviously the Twilight from this world, since it couldn't possibly be the Twilight from the Pony World, since the Twilight from the Pony World doesn't go to Crystal Prep or with glasses! Never mind. I'm sorry, Principal Cinch. I was just following these strange readings. Actually, they led me to those girls and Twilight, I... what you do in your free time is of little interest to me, but while you're here, I, all of Crystal Prep, in fact, require your complete focus. But why does everyone at this school seem to know me? Perhaps they're trying to confuse you. Perhaps they're trying to lure you away. It didn't feel like anyone was trying to lure me. I don't know what they're playing at, but I guarantee it isn't to help us win. I can't believe our world's Twilight goes to crystal prep. You're saying that Twilight's gonna play against us? She'd never do that. Our Twilight wouldn't. Our Twilight is a princess in Equestria and an expert in friendship magic. And if she was here, we'd have already figured out why magic is randomly popping up during pep rallies and costume changes. <sighs> oh, sorry. I'm just frustrated that I haven't heard back from her. She's a princess in Equestria. Probably got problems of her own to deal with. <laughs>